Yes, yes, I agree. Guys just screw all the time with zero memory. <laughs> They don't even remember when the last time they got laid was. Ironically, it was like 20 to. minutes ago. <laughs> they're not replaying it. They're going yeah, to the next they're, one. They're like, I can't remember when. Oh, wait a minute. There's a vagina on my penis. I guess now. I guess the answer is now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But zero memory. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. And you don't have to recall things. You don't have to replay them. You just act them. They're there. Yeah, that's right. Happening. That's right. So you, have, right. you have to recall the stuff to use it in your no, I, I really rituals do, I later. really do think getting laid affects your memory. I re- I, like, you know, remember those guys in high school that were getting laid all the time? And you, you'd like go... Hey, uh, dude, remember I saw him? They'd be like, uh, no, I don't Do we, what'd you do? Did you play Pop Warner football? Like, they never know who anyone is. They don't know their team. They're like, they go home and their parents are there, and they're like, uh, there's these two older folks that are in my living room. Yeah, yeah it's your mom and your dad. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. get laid. Yeah. I, don't, I have no memory. Yeah. Jessica? Yeah. Um, there she is. Hi, 17. I have, a, I have a question. Okay, last month on the 14th, um, okay, I stopped my period, and then 10 days later on the 24th, I started again, and I'm still on it now. And you've never had irregular periods before? Um, no. Are you on medication? Um, no, but about a, mm, see, about, about a month ago, I just I got off my birth control pills. And what pills were those? What, what's the um, name of them? What brand? What kind? Oh, Tri- the birth control pills. Yeah. Um, so they were orthotricycline. Tricycline. And were you menstruating normally on the pill, or were you having spotting? Uh, no. You you were no. not having spotting, and, and you were menstruating normally? Yeah. All right. Well, so, yes, coming off the pill can do that occasionally. Is there any chance you're pregnant? No. Because, well, me and my boyfriend broke up, but we hadn't had sex for like two months already. Mm-hmm. You can and still be pregnant. When it's possible. Did you stop, yeah, when did you stop the pill? Uh, about a month ago. But All we right, were so. not sexual a month before that. All right. All right, so this has something to do with you coming off the pill. It, it may regular, regularize by itself within a month or two. Sometimes it can take up to six months for your periods to regularize after getting off the pill when you've been on it for a period of time, particularly the shot, the depo provera can be a while before things get back to normal. So if it, if it keeps it bleeding or if it's very heavy, definitely check with a gynecologist, okay? Oh, okay. But it doesn't necessarily mean anything. There are, there are a lot of things that can cause that kind of bleeding. Pregnancy being number one amongst them. And uh, tubal pregnancy is the thing you really worry about. Mm. Ovarian cysts, mm. uh, infection. So should I, should I check mm. if I'm pregnant? Or? I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to take a pregnancy test. I know that's what the doctor will do as soon as you go over there. The, uh, what do those things cost, by the way, over the counter now? The pregnancy test? Uh, yeah, pregnancy like, test? Are they like 12 I bucks? I think they're probably 12 These bucks. used to be kind of expensive. Yeah, I know it's like 30 bucks to get a drug <laughs> test. You're in drug screen. That's for a bunch of stuff. You, you can get that yeah. over the counter? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. P. Really? Mm-hmm. There's where, all kinds of brands. Where, really? You yeah. just you just go to the farm and go to the... And go, you get a urine toxicology, urine drug screen. Most of them you send, you, you pee and you send them in. Uh-huh. And they give you like a preliminary read, then you get the confirmatory stuff back. Really? Yeah. So how long does it take? I think a week, something like that, to get the results. Wow. Yeah. And what about, uh, what's a stool sample going to do for you? Nothing? Because I want to get stool. Depends what you want to use it for. I'm going to send stool in. But, uh... Really? Stool, uh, probably right away. So how do you, wait, so it's like if you have a troubled teen, you mm-hmm. got to go get some of their urine? So I'm, just, I'm, I think I'm a oh, big, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be great when you start testing your kids in about <laughs> six months. Yeah. It's great. It's I'm great. Do it. you say eating disorder? It's going to be awesome. That's, that's. It's <laughs> awesome. I say it's a modern time, dude. Yeah, you live in the yeah. old ages. All right, but Drew, this, listen to me. Listen, you are going to screw those kids up and it's all going to be under the guise of, I'm doing it because I care. Meanwhile, you're going to, you're going to screw them up. Just relax. You don't have to screen them for drugs. Let them let them do something first. Uh oh. Oh, Drew. Drew, you really you got too much energy. You're, you're gonna you're gonna screw them up with that energy going into them. The screening them for drugs. That's that's, that's something that really should be done more frequently. I really believe that. Really, that it should be part of health maintenance for adolescents. But you take them to the doctor, get checked. Why wouldn't you check that? Well, you don't. I mean, when will you, you take them to get a physical for football or something? You don't the, the, take them. It, it, there's health maintenance for adolescents, and that would be a key yeah, thing. Yeah, but don't shouldn't. Why don't? Why not just put them? Send them straight to rehab. Then I mean, why? Why? Well, why not take any chances? You know, maybe they're swapping <laughs> urine with uh, the neighbor kid who's there's a Jehovah's a lot, Witness. There's a lot of. Uh, a lot of urine home screening right now. A lot. That's, well, that's, that's a mainstay. That, no, that, that, at the Lord Fauntleroy School no, for no, no, Albino no, no. Hemophiliacs. Not in North Hollywood High. There's no, there's no well, drug yeah, screening they, going on over there. Doing drugs and getting away with it. Yeah. True. Don't, well, here's what I'm saying. Let the kids w- find some weed in their, in their drawer or something first. Or let them well, look glazed got, over or something. No, they're not hooked at that point. You'll, look, first off, 
You think those kids could smoke pot for two years before you found out about it? No. I give them two minutes. Yes. Okay. So the very okay. first time either one of your any of your kids dabble in anything, you're going to know Probably. that afternoon. Yes. Okay. You're just going to be you're going to be uh, driving your car, and all of a sudden you're going to start your head's <laughs> going to start turning to the side because your kid's going to be sucking on a, a foil pipe somewhere, uh, and when he should be it's in gonna, homeroom, gonna and you're going to get head in. you're going to get this weird thing. It's going to be like scanners. Your head's going to explode. <laughs> okay. So you're here's the thing. You don't need to screen your kids for drugs because they can't do drugs. The screening right. isn't going to prevent them from right. trying it the first right. time. Not, you will know the day okay. they do right. it. Well, not everyone. Right. You, you're you're, you're probably that? right. Yes, I have. I have uncanny instincts with that stuff. Well, but not not only that, but your your look. You'll be looking yeah, for yeah. it. And and the main thing. But the point is, I think parents. Should be, you know, I'm trying to do as I tell other parents too, which is get used to this. It should be something. Yeah, to do. but they don't have. Uh, I know they don't. Have they don't have deputy, powers. deputy dog sitting across them from from the dinner I table. I mean, you got McGruff at the dinner table. No, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah, you you will know. I mean, just look at it that way. You will know. Oh, I tell them that all the time. I said, you guys, you got it bad. Oh, they're never going to be able to do yeah. anything, but you don't have to screen them. That's going to slow down the process. You You're have right. to wait for them to whiz in a cup. You're going to know w before they go to the bathroom. You're right. All right, so don't bother. Adam's going to be so happy when he hears your kids are on drugs. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to be happy when Adam was a kid. I bought a dime bag from my truth's youngest today. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah he, gave, he didn't give me a break, though. I was kind of pissed about that. He's a businessman. <laughs> All right, he's dealing from a van. Sean? Yeah, oh, you're really you're giving you're giving them eating source. They're good kids. Give them a little space. All right. Sean, yeah, they, they got they got to be kids. Take advice from Uncle Adam. Yeah, yeah believe me, Sean, you're twenty. <laughs> yeah, no, I've no. Listen, having... I'm telling you, you you can't put the screws to them. I, they're good. Here's my they're thing. good kids. You're, you're absolutely right. And my thing, it's not about putting the screws to it. It's about not putting the screws to it. It's about having a structure in place, and if they fall through, that's it. It's up to them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Daily urine checks is structure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I know. We just uh, just uh, submit a semen and a DNA sample before you leave the house every day. Yeah, it'll, become, gonna... it'll become a normal habit for them. Yeah, you'll be. That's you'll... what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Police motorcycle escort to school. Mm -hmm. You'll uh, have your own uh, your own attaché uh, that is uh, dispatched to you. Guy, just a guy with an ear earpiece and uh, wrap around sunglasses, yeah. just standing next to your desk in yeah. your homeroom, just uh, talking into his cufflink, Drew back at home base monitoring. <laughs> Now he's got you on GPS. He's uh, reports there's trouble with one of the chips that he's uh, inserted in one of the child. Not no, this is this is not a tracking chip. He sees what the child sees. <laughs> yes, he can tell if he's copying from the Asian kids. It's like calc paper. Being John Malkovich. Yeah, yeah. Actually, you will actually have three separate screens, and you'll sit in a darkened room. You actually see what they're seeing, and it'll be weird when they burst into the room and see you <laughs> looking at you, and it's just going to infinity because they're looking at the screen and they're looking at you. Look at the screen I can't wait for it'll that be moment. awesome it'll be great awesome sean yeah you're 20 yeah um i have i've had a problem with proper uh erectile function since i started having sex like around 18 mm -hmm. and um, it hasn't really gone away and it hasn't gotten worse it's still it's pretty much been the same i it's not it doesn't have to do with drugs or drinking like I'm off any what, of that. What is uh, what Sean pray tell is improper about your erectile function? Like not being being able to perform uh, with a woman. What does that mean? Getting you it up. Your, you can't get it up in the first place. Yeah. So you are you see so you've never had intercourse with a woman. No, I have, but I'm just saying it, on several occasions. Um, when I need to, I can't. And it, mm -hmm. I, I just think I thought it was, I think it's normal for me uh, at this young of an age to not be able to perform uh, or get it up or whatever. Well, all right, hold on. Do you have a, a girlfriend? No. Have you ever? Yeah. Um, you need to, I mean, unless you have some sort of, you know, vascular problem, work you need just to find a girl yeah. and work it out. Right. How about just getting a girlfriend? Because here's the thing. Uh, your nerves. Uh, here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say. I don't think anyone would be good at anything if, like, if Drew. If you're nervous. If you had to do, well, no, let's not use you. Let's use me because I, I have to do work yeah. uh, on this radio show. But if I had to do this radio show, and I just did it one, I did one a year. That's all. Yeah. Just uh, 364 like Tom, days we're later. making him nervous. Show up. Yeah. And if I had, it'd just be like, uh, 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 hi, I'm Alan, and that's Dr. Juju. 
and uh, this is Love Bone. And as it is, you don't even know you're on the radio. <laughs>